Zion Williamson is a basketball prodigy who has taken the world by storm with his incredible talent and athleticism. Born on July 6, 2000 in Salisbury, North Carolina, Zion was the youngest of four children in his family. His parents were both athletes, with his father being a former college basketball player and his mother a sprinter. From a young age, Zion showed a natural affinity for sports and was a standout athlete in middle school. He continued to excel in high school, where he played for Spartanburg Day School in South Carolina. During his junior year, he averaged 36.4 points and 11.4 rebounds per game, earning him the title of South Carolina Gatorade Player of the Year. He won numerous awards and accolades, including the prestigious Naismith Prep Player of the Year Award in 2018. After graduating from high school, Williamson committed to Duke University to play college basketball. In his freshman year at Duke, Williamson continued to impress, displaying his immense talents on both ends of the court. He quickly became a fan favorite and a national sensation thanks to his jaw-dropping dunks and dominant performances. He averaged 22.6 points, 8.9 rebounds, and 2.1 steals per game while shooting an incredible 68% from the field. Williamson won numerous awards, including the Naismith College Player of the Year Award, and was selected first overall by the New Orleans Pelicans in the 2019 NBA Draft. On July 1, 2019, Williamson officially signed with the Pelicans. Well, Zion, certainly the moment we all anticipated, but you've been waiting for this moment since you were five. How would you describe being the number one overall pick in this draft? I mean, I, I don't know what to say. I didn't think I'd be in this position. My mom sacrificed a lot for me. I, I wouldn't be here without my mom. She did, she did everything for me. I just want to thank her. Williamson finished his rookie season averaging 22.5 points on 58.3% shooting from the floor, 6.3 rebounds, and 2.1 assists per game. He ranked first among all rookies in points per game, second in rebounds per game, and first in offensive rebounds per game. He became the first rookie since Michael Jordan to post 16 20-point games within their first 20 contests, while also logging the highest scoring average through his first 24 career NBA games since Jordan in 1983. On September 15, Williamson was named to the NBA All-Rookie First Team. In 2021, during the offseason, Williamson suffered a Jones fracture in his right foot and underwent a subsequent surgery. In late September, team officials were hopeful that he would be ready to return by the start of the season. By mid-October, the timeline for his expected return was extended until December. In mid-December, it was announced that the injury was slow to heal, and he would most likely be out another four to six weeks with a possible return to action around the All-Star break. In mid-March, it was announced that Williamson would not play that season. On July 6, 2022, Williamson signed a five-year rookie extension with the New Orleans Pelicans, worth $193 million guaranteed, increasing to $231 million if he makes an all-NBA team in the 2022-2023 season. Williamson made his return from injury on October 4, 2022, putting up 13 points, four rebounds, one assist, and one steal in a 129 125 preseason win over the Chicago Bulls. Okay, here's the moment. Everyone's been waiting for you to come back. We saw you in action tonight. What was the best part? Uh, just being out there with my guys, uh, feeling the allure of the game again, and just playing the game I love. Williamson was sidelined on January 2nd, 2023, with a hamstring injury. At first, Team officials were hopeful that he would be ready to return by the end of January. How close think, are you to yeah. feeling like you'll be ready to play? Uh, I mean, physically, I'm fine. Now it's just a matter of uh, I feel like Zion. Um, you know, I, I know the atmosphere I'd be in uh, based off like the playoff experience. Uh, so now it's just a matter of when I feel like Zion. On January 26th, 2023. Williamson was selected for his second NBA All-Star appearance. However, due to his unavailability, Williamson was replaced by Anthony Edwards. 
On February 13th, team officials indicated that Williamson would miss multiple weeks after the All-Star break. Subsequently, team officials confirmed in early April that Williamson would miss the remainder of the regular season. What more can you tell us about Zion's injury? Uh, Malika, this uh, Zion Williamson injury, you know, three weeks until there is um, uh, a reevaluation of it. But I think the expectation is Zion Williamson will be out at least a month plus. This is not a mild strain. And so this is a New Orleans team that is always going to err on the side of caution with Zion Williamson coming back from an injury, you know, making sure he is back to 100 percent. Subsequently, Williamson sat out the Pelicans' appearance in their play-in game against the Oklahoma City Thunder, which New Orleans lost, effectively ending their season. On June 6, 2023, Williamson announced that he is having a baby girl with his girlfriend Akima. Adult film star Mariah Mills has called out the NBA player for having an affair with her while dating other women. Mills fired off a series of tweets, where she revealed details of her association with Williamson. Before she chose to expose Williamson, she congratulated him on the news that he was expecting a baby with his girlfriend. It was not immediately clear if she meant her initial tweet to be sarcastic. Once she started ranting about Williamson's alleged disloyalty, she hinted at the fact that she might be pregnant too, as she was late on her period. She also alleged that Williamson was with her only last week, and they had indulged in sexual intercourse without protection. If the allegations are true, then Williamson cheated on his pregnant girlfriend. Mills claimed that Williamson never told her that he had gotten another woman pregnant with his child. She also demanded that Williamson do a DNA test to prove that Akima's child was really his.